Hi, it's Kirsten from Monroe Bay Wine, and right now we're going to do an acid testing kit. I have um, some wine that I made. I put it in this gallon jug when I was bottling, and um, by taste, it was very acidic. So we're going to try and see if we can correct that. And I'm going to follow this um, acid testing kit. You can get these online in any local wine store. Um, and we start out by using the plastic syringe measuring 15 cc, which is also the same as milliliters. Cc and ml are the same. Um, this all came in the testing kit. And I'm going to put that in to the cup that also came with the testing kit. So there we go, of the wine or juice into the bottle. Um, red solutions may be measured into a larger clear vessel and uh, we can put distilling water in so that we can dilute it. So that's what I'm going to do with this particular one. So I'm going to go get some distilled water and put it into a larger clear vessel and then we're going to move on from there. So let me get the distilled water. Okay, so I got the distilled water and a clear cup. Um, if you're doing a white wine or something that doesn't have a lot of color to it, you do not have to dilute it. When you're doing the dilution, the amount doesn't matter. It's just enough to kind of, uh, the only thing that matters in measuring is the amount of juice, the amount of drops, and the amount of solution that you put into it. So the next thing it says on here is to put three drops uh, of the color solution into the testing sample. So we're going to put three drops in. This is what actually has it react to the acid. This is important to measure the amount. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to wash this out and we're going to start putting this solution back into there. And we want to measure when the solution is at um, how much solution we put back into it. Since I have this water here, I'm going to wash it out with the water so I don't have to go away. And then we're going to do, it said 10 cc's or ml's of the sodium hydroxide solution. This is my first time using this kit, so I'm going to open it up. There we go. And I'm going to add 10. It's really important that we get this exact. That's why I want to get the air out of it and make sure I have pure solution. So I'm exactly at 10 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding this. Uh, so adjust the acid content until adding the solution in very small amounts, stirring the cup until a deep dark color change is noted and additional drops to neutralize does not cause or affect a darker color. So let's try this. I'll let you guys look at it as well as me. Oh, I'm starting to see it a little bit. It's hard to go slow with this one. I see it, but as soon as I shake it up, it goes away. So you can kind of see the color change at the bottom, but if I shake it up, the color change goes away. So we're going to keep going until the color change goes through the entire solution. Do 
You sometimes also can use a white background just to kind of see where it is, if that's helpful. I feel like we're close. That may have done it. So right now, I only have one cc left. I'm going to do just a little more to make sure that we're that it really did it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it was one cc that was left when the color change actually happened. So then, for each one cc of the solution color change, 0.1% acid expressed in tarnic acid. So we can just multiply that out, adjust the acid content to get it to where I want. So that's how we go ahead and measure it. And now I'm going to look at this compared to where we actually want it and um, decide uh, the amount. So I ended up with 0.9 acid, and that's higher than I want because a red grape, grape wine should be around 0.65. So I am 0.25 higher than I want to be. So I can take an acid solution and add it to this in order to um, uh, bring down the, um, the acid. And I will do that in another video. So thanks for staying with me to use the acid testing kit. Brought to you from Monroe Bay Wine.